Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. As always, your Intuitively Awakened Star Seed here with a message for you guys. Thank you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, for all of your support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you. I am sending love, light, gratitude to you guys and some Palo Santos as well. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop into this reading. You guys, I'm picking up on the energy. There is someone that you may feel as though has definitely um, maybe um, walked away. Yeah, that's what I feel like there's a separation. There's a no contact, right? But I feel like there's someone that, you know, has just like truly went silent here. It may appear that this person doesn't care, but it's like there's something else going on with this here. Um, I'm definitely picking up that somebody wants to reconnect. They want to rekindle. They want to fix things, right? That's what I'm getting. And I'm also feeling as though there's someone that there's this silence. The silence with this no contact is like really, really bothering someone, right? This is really like tearing them up. So you guys, we're going to go ahead and tap into this energy and see what is going on with your person's current energy is. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm just going to tap into the tarot deck first. Spirit's saying go ahead and tap into the tarot, right? Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that and see what your current person's feelings are during this no contact. Um, are they thinking about you? How do they truly feel? Yeah, so Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective. Oh, by the way, you guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, or your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things. Let's go ahead and tap in to the who, what, when, where, why. What is this person's current energy during this separation, during this no contact, right? Because I'm picking up on the energy like this person truly has not given up or they're never given up. But yeah, let's see here. Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective. Mm. <laughs> Confirmation. Confirmation. There it is. Ace of Cups. This person wants to rekindle. They do want to reconnect. That's the energy that I was picking up on. This person is closed off. They're respecting your boundaries. There may have been a bit of chaos and conflict, or maybe a lot of chaos and conflict, right? I feel like you definitely um, set some boundaries, right? This person's definitely respecting your boundaries, but they're never giving up on your love. That's what I'm getting, right? That's I'm getting that very strong energy. Wow. Wow. Sun card. Look at that. I'm seeing a new beginning, and the sun card together, a bright, new, happy beginning, a lot of happiness. Somebody is doing a lot of work, a lot of introspection here. I'm seeing that. Picking up on some karmic energy. Mm -hmm. Some toxic, controlling, codependent energy. We have the devil card here, right? So I'm definitely picking up on some darker energy here. Um... Yeah, somebody could be Capricorn, could have Capricorn in their chart. What else do we have, Spirit? It looks like a divine connection. Yeah. So there could have been some karmic energy here that came in between this connection, right? I feel like somebody really wanted to clear the air or they wanted to explain themselves. I feel like it was just something. It was a very... Um, I feel like there was an explosive like type of argument or something like that to whereas this person really couldn't get, they couldn't say anything, right? And they, they didn't want you to walk away, but they, I'm, I'm hearing like free will, right? So they couldn't stop you. Yeah, I'm picking up, this is like the energy from my previous reading. Look at this. I'm seeing here though, a new beginning. Leave the past in the past and start over. This person, there's a lot of growth here. There's your divine masculine. I'm seeing emperor energy. This person knowing exactly what they want. 
no games. Yeah. There's no illusions, nothing. There's nothing going on behind the scenes. The only thing that's behind the scenes is the universe. Yeah, working behind the scenes to bring you guys together. That's what I'm getting, right? They're burdened by being separated from you. This silence, this, this, this no contact, this silence, not being able to talk to you. This is like really breaking their heart. Wow. They want to take action to come towards you, Divine Feminine. I'm seeing the chariot card, cancer energy on the board. You could be a cancer. Your person could be a cancer. You could have cancer in your chart. Yeah. This person is, it's like, almost like this person feels as though this separation has went on long enough. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, uh-uh, they don't want to, this person's not trying to continue to be out in the cold, right? They're ready to take action to come towards you is what I'm getting. And I'm also picking up on the energy of you guys coming back into vibration, coming back in as a vibrational match. Yeah, this person's been doing a lot of work, a lot of introspection on themselves. They know you're in that queen of swords energy, see? That's what I picked up on. You definitely, um, you drew the line in the sand. You got your message across. Your point was definitely taken. I feel like this is a side of you that this divine masculine has never seen or didn't know that it existed until they pushed things a little too far. Yeah, something took place to whereas your needs weren't being met or something like that, right? Or you felt you could have felt disrespected. I just heard disrespected. They could have had you in competition or something like that. Because I was picking up on that karmic energy as well. They know you got choices. Yeah. Yep. They know that you have choices, right? You're nobody's option. You definitely have choices. And look, judgment card. See? This is why spirit said, go to the tarot first. They want a second chance. And I'm seeing the phoenix rising from the ashes. I'm seeing a new chance at this love, a new beginning. Look, the wheel of fortune. Mm-hmm. That's a very good omen. That's very good karma. Turning towards this connection, right? Very good energy. Look, I'm seeing the page of cups. This is a small love offer. This person's going to come towards you slow. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, they want it all with you. They want to have everything with you. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles. See, look, here is the Knight of Cups, right? So that's the big love offer, right? But I'm seeing here, they're coming in slow. But child, Divine Feminine, they want the Knight of Cups charming love offer right commitment long-term commitment with you yeah thank you spirit king of cups this divine masculine is in love with you divine feminine yeah no illusions nothing hidden yep look no trickery no deceit mm-mm a message of good news coming towards you look king of swords Whatever it is, they didn't cut it off. They're not letting nothing get in the way of this connection. I'm seeing with the King of Swords here. This divine masculine is serious about this connection. They realize you are their divine counterpart. King of Swords. They didn't cut somebody off. They're spying on you too. This could be this divine masculine and a karmic energy spying on you. Look come through spirit there's been a whole bunch of chaos and conflict going on and they cut somebody off mm -hmm. this divine masculine has ascended they were distorted fragmented right insecure they had a lot of growth to do right had a lot of growing to do this is what caused this tower moment between you guys Mm-hmm. 
they cut somebody off while you guys have been separated. So this could have been the energy that came in between you guys. They cut them off. Yeah. Both of them are spying on you. Divine Masculine and this karmic energy. Mm. This Divine Masculine said, nothing is coming in the way of this connection. There is nothing worth losing their Divine Feminine for. They want to reconcile. They want to rekindle, right? They want to reconnect with you, Divine Feminine. This has been very difficult for them. Look at that Ten of Swords. They want to rush in with communication. It's like the conversations that you guys share, deep conversations, right? They miss that. They definitely miss that. You have everything that they want and need. Here's the magician card. They're manifesting you. Mm-hmm. They're manifesting you back. You could, I'm, I'm getting, you may be dreaming about this person or thinking about this person more often than normal, right? Or than usual. That's because this person is manifesting you. This divine masculine is tapping into their spiritual gifts. Mm-hmm. They're trying to win you back at all costs. Divine Feminine 1111 was just on the timer. All of these hidden emotions. There's so much that this Divine Masculine wants to tell you. So much that they want to say to you about their feelings for you. How much they love you, right? They were so close to having their land of milk and honey with you. And I feel like... There was something that came in between you guys. I'm picking up on this karmic energy, but they're definitely, this divine masculine is taking action to come back towards their empress, nurturing, loving energy. You're the alchemist, right? Chosen one, light worker, star seed, not letting anybody come in between this connection ever again. Seven of wands, yeah. Look, confirmation, justice, could be some karmic justice going on here as well. Look, Knight of Wands taking action to come towards you. Boom, for their happily ever after. 12-12 was just on the timer. You guys, pay attention to these angel numbers. We got 11-11. We got 12-12 showing up. Yeah, this is all about, these are signs and synchronicities, these angel numbers from the universe, letting you know that this is your divine counterpart. This is your soul partner, right? Yeah, this is your life partner. This is confirmation from the universe, right? In this reading, you guys, this divine masculine is hoping that you will open your heart, be open to this connection after this tower moment that took place. Yeah, I'm getting they take full accountability for this. Aquarius energy, star card, follow your intuition, high priestess energy, tapping into your intuition, your spiritual gifts, right? Because there could be a lot of, um, there could be some illusions going on here because I'm picking up on that karmic energy, right? But this divine masculine is definitely taking action to come back towards you. Could have been a player because I'm seeing here Leo energy. It's like you are the only one that can tame this divine masculine. Yeah. You are the only one and they are so proud to be with you, right? There's something about this energy, this karmic energy. Yeah, it's like this toxic codependent energy. It's like, but with you, it's so different. You, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's very different. It's like they want everybody to know that you are theirs type of energy, right? Mm-hmm. Because again, they know you got options. Yes. They want to build a future with you, right? Trying to figure out what's next for this connection, how to come back towards you. They're hoping you have a new perspective. We got the hangman here, right? So yeah, hoping that you can um, tap into your higher self, right? Get that eagle eye view. Mm -hmm. Forget about the past, right? Yeah, they don't want, they just want to put the past behind you guys. Like, it's almost like there's a degree of embarrassment there with them, right? 
They just want you to accept their love offer or be open to moving forward, reconciling. They know that they've fallen from grace with you in the past, right? Yeah. But it's like they want, they realize that this connection has been, this is a soul agreement from the spiritual realm and it's here in the physical realm. So it's from the 5D is here in the 3D, right? It's like you guys have been going through this through many lifetimes. Yeah. And now they found you, look, here. They don't want to let you go. They're never giving up on your love. This person wants to fix this, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely, right? They've been in deep despair. This silence has them really hurting, heartbroken, in deep despair. Look at this. They will be so happy to come back in contact with you or to reconnect or rekindle. Look, Six of Cups. Past life connection. Soul contract, soul agreement, divine intervention, divinely guided. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. This connection, I'm hearing like angels, right? Or you, earth angel, to this person, right? I'm seeing six of wands, okay? So I'm getting definitely like that ego with the lion, but I'm seeing a lot of pride. This person is really, they're so proud to have you. They realize that you are rare. You are, this is a rare connection. You're rare. Your light shines so bright. Yeah, like they are so proud to have you, right? Child, you are their wish fulfillment. Look at this. You are their wish granted their wish fulfillment, they're, they're trying to figure out how to come back towards you, divine feminine, look, holding on to you tight, right? They're strategizing. This person's been up at night thinking about you, cannot sleep thinking about you. In the future, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry I'm getting about the future and if you're going to accept their offer. I'm seeing here a lot of equal give and take and you are their world. You are their priority, Divine Feminine. You're their world. Mm-hmm. They regret this tower moment. They have a lot of regrets here. But I'm seeing they want to spoil you. We got the King of Pentacles. And then look, there we go. Angel number 1111. There it is with the Four of Wands coming into harmony and a commitment. Come through, Spirit. Look, clear communication. Mm-hmm. Taking action towards their queen of cups, right? They regret everything, right? Because now it's like they had this loving, nurturing energy, right? This healing energy that you have. They fumbled and so they had the queen of cups, but then they fumbled. So now they got the queen of swords and the queen of swords don't play, right? Right? This divine masculine is trying to come towards you sooner than later. I'm seeing that with the Ace of Wands. Uh-huh. Yeah, they've been silent because they've been trying to figure out a way back towards you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's the energy I'm picking up on, right? They still have so, 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 so much love for you, right? This person is still deeply in love with you. Like, seriously, like, stupid love, right? They are, like, really deeply in love with you, okay? Yeah. What else we got, Spirit? I feel like this could be a twin flame connection. Twin flame or a soulmate connection. Yep. What else we got? This no contact is breaking their heart. Has them in deep despair, Divine Feminine, right? not being able to talk to you. There's something about these deep conversations that you guys would have, talking about your day. Mm-hmm. Law, you are a priority. You're not an option. You are a priority to the divine masculine. I feel like with the two of pentacles, I'm seeing that they may have juggled you in the past or still had a connection with someone. Child, they done sever ties. Yep. Because again, here you are, their wish fulfillment. You're everything that they ever wanted and needed. You're this person's universe. 
transformation. They've done the work. They've ascended. This is a divine masculine also tapping into their own spiritual gifts. Telepathic communication, right? Sending you messages telepathically during this no contact because they really, really want to talk to you. This divine masculine misses the conversations that you guys had. Please take it how it resonates. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys. But there are some deep conversations that you guys would have, right? Scorpio energy on the board. You could be a Scorpio. Your person could be a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart, right? But yeah, this divine masculine is definitely transformed. Yeah. Queen of Wands. They're hoping that you have the same energy. Yeah, they've made up their mind to come towards you. There it is, the High Priestess. Mm-hmm. High Priestess, follow your intuition. Follow your gut regarding this. Reading in between the lines. Tapping into your higher self, right? Because again, I am picking up on some manipulation. There could be some false narratives. There could be some lies going on here. Because... I am picking up on some karmic energy, right? Could be a third party. Yeah, what else we got here, spirit? Ace of Pentacles. Yep, this person wanting to have an abundant new beginning with you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's go ahead over to the Oracle cards, you guys. Ciao. I see why. Spirit said, source was like, go to tarot first. Do the tarot. Got it. This is why. Yeah, this person... But again, there's something to do with those deep conversations. I feel like you guys would either spend a lot of time on the telephone talking or just up at night, right? You could have been laying in the bed together or just like sitting up. Just really just, you know, deep conversations, right? Let's you go, go ahead and go to the Oracle deck, you guys. Let's see what is going on. What's ahead for this connection? Sarah, please give us a clear message. For the collective, you guys. Yeah, what is going on for the collective? Ciao. Look, this person misses you and needs you. Divine feminine. Yes. What else we got here? This person's never given up on this connection. Look, they're reaching out to you soon. They're definitely taking action to come towards you, Divine Feminine. I do see that, right? You're so nurturing, so magnetic. There is something about those conversations that you guys would have, right? Very deep, intellectual, very stimulating conversations. You guys are both very, have a lot of wisdom is what I'm getting, right? But again, you guys, you know, this is like past life experiences that you guys are having here in the 3D. Look, our love is real. Come through, spirit. Yeah, follow your bliss. That's what I'm saying. Make sure you're tapping into your higher self, following your intuition, your own inner light is what I'm getting. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on that chosen one, light worker, um, ascended master energy here. Yeah, but this, this is a very unique connection, right? They miss you during this no contact. Yeah, this divine masculine misses you. They're having faith that you guys are going to come back together. But I'm definitely picking up on that divine intervention. Yeah, divinely guided, right? Yeah, divinely orchestrated. But they definitely regret whatever took place here. And I feel like that's having you in competition, right? Spending a lot of sleepless nights. Yeah, it's like... They've been up worrying about the future of this connection, working on this connection, fixing this connection, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it's a battle within themselves, right? It's like how do they get back to divine feminine? It's like anxiety keeps them awake at night. Their life has changed since they've met you. You have been the catalyst for their spiritual awakening, for their change, for their growth here in this physical realm. Yeah, look at this. Opening up, they want to sit. It's something about those conversations, but this person definitely wants to communicate to you exactly how they feel, the deep emotions that they have for you, Divine Feminine. See, 
communication. They want to open up. They're very hopeful for this connection, right? I know that we will be together again. Yeah, they can feel it. This is a deep soul connection. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of communication. They've learned a lot during this time apart. The main thing is how much they miss you, right? And how difficult life is without your energy, without your light, without your healing spirit. Yeah. This time apart is giving them a chance to work on themselves. They had to retreat, but I'm seeing that they're definitely taking action to come back towards you. Yes, twin flame energy. There it is. I told you. This person is deeply in love with you, Divine Feminine. And this is this is temporary to them. They still see you as being theirs, their Divine Counterpart, their Divine Feminine, their Soul Partner. They cannot even fathom you being with someone else. They could never imagine you loving someone else the way you love them. I feel like that idea alone really tears them apart. Mm-hmm. We are meant for each other. There is no one else in the world who could ever replace you, period, period. They want to meet and exceed your expectations. They want to show you that they can be the person that you expected them to be, right? Mm-hmm. They definitely want to show you that they've changed, right? They want you to look for the signs and synchronicities. They're, they're communicating with you telepathically. Whomever I'm speaking to, and this could be for some of you guys, not all of you guys, but I'm picking up on somebody's been having dreams about this person, right? They're dreaming about you too. Mm-hmm. What else we got, Spirit? Yeah, there is. this is a lot of intensity with this connection, right? But they're learning and they're understanding about this soul connection. Yeah, because they do realize that they feel different for you than anyone else. This is a very rare connection, right? Look, promise. This person wants a commitment, a long-term commitment I'm seeing here. I want to make a commitment. I wish you knew how special you are to me. That's what they want to tell you. They want you to know that, right? Mm-hmm. But they definitely want to respect your boundaries as well and your free will, but they want you to know, they feel like you really, really need to know how they feel because this person feels like if you knew exactly how they felt, how deep their emotions are for you, that, that would change everything. Changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Divine timing is at play. Yeah. Divine timing is definitely at play. This person is manifesting you. I feel like the universe is definitely bringing you guys together. Stars are aligning. Look, protect it. This person is very protective of you. And also, too, I'm picking up on angelic protection, right? Divine protection over this union. Yeah. Archangel Michael. That's the energy that I'm picking up on, right? Divine protection. Mm hmm. This person definitely is coming in slow. I'm getting with a uh, love offer. It's going to be a small. They're not going. They're not trying to love bomb you. They're not trying to rush anything. As bad as they would like to rush it along, they're not trying to rush things with you, Divine Feminine. Right? They want to build a solid foundation with you. They realize together you guys are unstoppable. But you are going to be receiving a message of love. Mm-hmm. Look, surprise. A surprise visit. I'm seeing I am planning to surprise you soon. Yeah, get ready to receive something special soon or an unexpected visitor, right? Yep. It could be a physical or spiritual. This could happen even in the spiritual realm. But you're tapped in. You have those those uh, spiritual gifts, right? But this is something that could happen in the spiritual realm as well. 
but it's something that's going to bring you guys closer, something closer in the 3D, right? In this physical realm, you guys, I'm also seeing an apology. This is an unexpected apology that you're going to be getting, right? But again, this silence, oh, mm, this silence is definitely hurting. This is breaking this divine masculine's heart, not talking to you. Yeah. Wow. The universe is working behind the scenes. I told you this is protected. Mm-hmm. Everything is falling into place. Could have been some karmic battles. Mm-hmm. Told you I picked up on that karmic energy. Definitely could have been some karmic battles, a karmic coming in between the two of you guys. Yeah. What else we got here, spirit? Oh, child. Okay. Oh, they feel blessed, blessed to have had you, look, blessed to have come in contact with you finally in this lifetime. This person's never giving up on your love. This person wants to fix this and they want to move on. They want to put the past behind you guys and they want to move on. This person is so proud to have you, right? Look, they want a new beginning, they're ready to start this over again. They feel like they have, are, have definitely evolved, right? They, there's definitely been an awakening, a spiritual awakening. This person sees a future with you, Divine Feminine, and they're ready to move forward with that. But again, they're not going to come in too fast, right? Not too abrupt because they don't want to chase you away. I'm getting small love offers, very slow movement. They would love to move things along quicker, but they don't want you to feel like they're love bombing you or feel as though they're not genuine in their approach towards you. Yeah, they want you to know that they're not a false person. They're real, you know, and that you can trust this love. You can trust them, right? Because I feel like trust was broken in the past or trust was an issue in the past, right? Because of what had taken place. But I'm definitely seeing now this person wants to build that solid foundation with you. And the thing that they really miss is talking to you and like your logic is what I'm getting. Your wisdom, you guys really vibed, right? Mm-hmm. This person is missing you and they're in deep despair, this silence. They want to pick up the phone and call you just to talk. They want to text you. Yeah, they want to run things past you. See what you think, right? Just everyday stuff. And they don't have you. You're not there. Child, this person misses you so, so much, right? Mm-hmm. It's like heartbreaking that they fumbled you is what I'm getting, right? Yeah. They're hoping that you... It's like they just want to forget the past and move on. They don't want you to hold this against them forever, right? They want your forgiveness, divine feminine. They want your forgiveness. Yeah, they're in love with you. Child. Mm-hmm. Unspoken emotions, hidden emotions. Yeah, they want to communicate these emotions to you, right? And they want to show you that they are their best self, right? They have evolved and they can be who you need, what you need, right? They realize that they didn't show up the way that they needed to in the past. They, they didn't give you what you deserved in the past. They were not emotionally available, not emotionally mature, right? They want to show you that they are that person that you deserve now. Mm -hmm. You inspire them to be better. And they want your forgiveness. Wow. This person's been thinking about you all the time. They constantly think about you, dream about you is what I'm getting, right? Yeah. They don't want you to doubt this connection. They don't want you to doubt it, right? Please stop doubting our connection. I can sense it and making me, it's like it hurts them. Knowing that you doubt them and you don't trust them, right? It hurts them that they broke your trust is what I'm getting. 
but they want you to trust their love and know that their love is true. They're going to show you, given the chance. They want to show you. This person is very passionate about you. Mm-hmm. But they're seeing this separation as an, as an illusion, right? They're not accepting that things are over. No, 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 no. They're never going to give up on your love, Divine Feminine. Mm -mm. They're not. This person loves you very much, right? And they want to show you that they can be the person that you need them to be, that you deserve. The silence has them in deep despair, Divine Feminine. Wow. Wow. Oh. They're hoping that they haven't lost your love. They're hoping that they have not lost your love forever. They want to fight for this connection, right? They're never giving up. Mm -mm. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.